Hi everyone! We are back with some exciting news! Some of our ladybugs have already emerged from their pupas. So amazing. So you can see some pupas on the outside of the habitat and look one is emerging over there. And when they emerge it is really interesting because they emerge completely white. There are no spots whatsoever. And then after a little while, you will see them start to acquire their spots. So interesting. Let me see if I can get a better view this way. Look at that. Now look at that complete change. Completely different than the ladybug larva that we saw before, right? They don't look like the larva at all. So that is complete metamorphosis because they completely changed. So cool. And here are some pupas that still have not hatched yet. There's one there and one silly little larva decided to make its pupa right in the watering hole on top of the volcano. There's a ladybug there. So our ladybugs can stay in here for a little while longer. Um, there's food in the bottom that they still have to eat, but um, we always release our bugs right away uh, so that they can be in their natural habitat outside and eat their natural foods. So here's the underbelly of our ladybugs. Very cool. You can see they have six legs. They have their nice shell that stores their wings inside. This one just hatched. It's a little bit lighter still. And it hasn't um, darkened up yet. See how light its belly is compared to these little guys here? So interesting. And look at the exoskeleton of the pupa that was left behind. Very cool. The little ladybug must have an itch. <laughs> it's moving its legs all around maybe. I'm getting ready to walk around since it just hatched. And I'll take you over here and we will check out our caterpillars. Now, sadly, uh, one of the chrysalis fell. Um, and this one I'm very afraid is going to fall too. It is just hanging by a thread from the top of the lid. So I'm afraid it's going to fall when we move it. This has never happened to me before. Um, the caterpillars usually attach and make their chrysalis and without a problem like these three did at the top. But you can see this one over here is hanging down quite a bit so I'm really nervous that it might fall um, when we remove the lid but we will see and you can see down here this one did fall um, I, I really thought that that was going to happen I anticipated it when I saw it making its chrysalis because as it was shedding its last uh, exoskeleton it was just like dangling and so I thought uh oh I think this one's gonna fall and sure enough it did so what I'm going to do is um it is time for me to remove the lid um and you can see after I move the cup they'll start shaking a little bit that um some of that is from the movement of the cup, but then that is also their defense mechanism against predators. Whenever they feel threatened, they will shake inside their chrysalis 
to um, like frighten away predators. Um, but now it is time for me to remove the lid. It has been three days since the last caterpillar formed its chrysalis. So I know that they're in there and the chrysalis is nice and steady. Um, so I'm going to be removing the lid and placing the lid on the insect lore log that they gave me as part of, see how they're shaking around, as part of the uh, deluxe refill. This is the chrysalis station, so the lid will fit right in here, and then um, that's where they will stay until the butterflies emerge. So what I'm going to do, my plan with this little one here, is to just kind of like set it up against the log, and hopefully um, I will be here watching when that one starts emerging, that way I can help it. Um, two years ago when we did this, one of our butterflies fell over while hatching and I thought, oh, I better not touch it, you know, let it do its own thing. I didn't, I was afraid I would mess something up, so I didn't touch it, but I found out later that I should have helped pick it up because those first few seconds after they emerge, well, I should say the first minute after they emerge is the most important because they pump blood through their wings and that is what hardens their wings so that their wings are nice and stiff and straight so that they can fly. And when I um, left the, the butterfly, it had a bent wing and was not able to push the blood through to harden it. So when it finally propped itself up, and push the blood through, um, its wings stayed bent. So then that impacted its flight. So um, now I know, if your butterfly falls over, hurry and help it back up so it can push that blood through its wings so that they'll stay nice and straight. Um, because when they first emerge, their wings are really floppy and um, they're not stiff at all. So this is what I'm about to do. I'm going to remove the lid and put it in the chrysalis station inside the butterfly habitat um and the butterfly habitat does not come with the refill even the deluxe one um that comes with the original kit that you buy the very first time you do this so i'm going to have my assistant hold the camera while i remove the lid and place it in the chrysalis station so we will see we'll see how this goes hopefully that loose little chrysalis will not fall off so Now you'll see there's some fuzz that's attached to them. I'm just going to kind of help break that loose. And then you can see they're starting to shake. This one that has been dangling and making me nervous, I'm going to lay down really quickly so that it doesn't. trying to find the best way. Oh, they're shaking. They don't like us. I'm trying to figure out the best way to lay them down. And I guess stand this up is what I should say. Look at them shaking all around. They do not like being moved. Okay. So they are in there. I'm actually going to turn them around in the chrysalis station because I don't like how they're leaning forward. It makes me nervous that when they emerge they're going to fall and um, you know mess up their wings. So I'm going to turn it around so that it's leaning more backwards. So I'll turn it so you can see. There you go. So you can see them in there.
Interesting. And you can see the uh, one piece here. Can you see this? Okay. Of the exoskeleton left at the top of that one. Very interesting. Now, it's going to be kind of difficult to see these now because of the um, mesh on the side. But um, you can see how I have them in there, positioned in their little log. And um, you saw how much they shook around uh, when I transferred them. But uh, they hang on there pretty sturdy. So you don't have to be super concerned about the exact position that you put them in there. Um, they're going to hatch out and for the most part, they'll do just fine on their own. So what I'm going to do now is take this last chrysalis out of here. This is actually, as much as you don't want this to happen, um, this is the first time that a chrysalis has ever fallen off on me. Um, oh dear. Uh, this is a good way for me to be able to show you the chrysalis and for myself to see it for the first time. Now look, so it started forming its last, pushing off its last bit of exoskeleton but it didn't quite come off all the way. So it'll be interesting. It's, it's using its uh, defense mechanism right now because it doesn't like that I'm holding it. But um, I'm interested to see how this one will hatch out and be formed because I am not completely positive that this exoskeleton actually detached from the body. I have a feeling this might be a mutated complete metamorphosis. So we will see what happens. I think my assistant is interested in holding the chrysalis. So hold your hand out flat, as gentle as can be. There you go. And now it feels safe because it's not being held. Now look at that. Isn't that interesting? You're holding a chrysalis. You're holding a caterpillar inside of its little protective shell while it makes a life-changing transformation. How do you feel about that? You like it? It's pretty cool, isn't it? Well... So I'm interested to see how this one forms. Hold your hand out, keep it out and steady. Mommy is going to move it, okay? So I'm going to take this little guy now. Yes, I know you don't like it, I'm sorry. And I'm going to put it in here. And I'm not entirely sure how to lay it there, but I'm just gonna lay it right down there. And all we can do is hope for the best. So we will see what happens with that little one. Um, and these other ones are doing fine. So this is the inside. There, You can see some of their exoskeletons here. And um, the food that they've been eating. It's all mush. Let's see if I can get one of these exoskeletons. Here we go. Would you mind holding out your hand, my little helper? Oh, I got it in mind. So here's the last little bit of exoskeleton that you can see. Just the last bit of skin that they slop off when they're done growing. So this is the bit that is still stuck on the one that fell off the top as it was making its chrysalis. So. I'm interested to see, since it didn't fall off, if it's still attached or if it's just kind of stuck in that end of the chrysalis and it didn't fall off since it you know, didn't stay attached to the top. It didn't fall off when it fully formed. So we will see. Only time can tell. Um, and here are some of our ladybugs again. Well, it looks like almost all of them have emerged from their pupas. So these two animals here, 
the butterflies and the ladybugs have experienced, well, in the butterflies case, it is currently experiencing complete metamorphosis. They completely changed. So it's pretty exciting. We have here, thanks little helper, our ladybugs. They have finished their change, their metamorphosis, complete change. And they changed from being in their pupa to hatching as a ladybug. And they went from being a larva to a pupa to a ladybug. They completely changed, look at that, amazing. And then we have over here, my little helpers bringing over our caterpillars. Now they went from, right now they're in their chrysalis and they were our little hungry caterpillars. You can read that Eric Carl book. <laughs> so they went from caterpillar to pupa to they'll be butterflies when they emerge. So right now they're in their chrysalis. I think I just said pupa. That's for ladybugs. But uh, look at that complete change as well. From the caterpillar to the butterfly. Completely different. So you know that's complete metamorphosis. So these two insects here go through complete metamorphosis. Now over here, we have our quick guides. So I'm gonna show you that. I'm gonna show you that uh, really quick. So it says, you know, wait three days for your caterpillars to fully harden into chrysalides. We did that. Uh, you, you want to wait, don't start counting three days from when the first one makes its chrysalis. Start counting three days from when the last one makes its chrysalis. That's important. Um, get your butterfly habitat ready. So that's what we did. Now, we have moved the um, lid into the chrysalis station. Now it has them all laying perfectly flat. Look at that. That's not how it happens. They will attach however they want to. And um, when you put them in there on the log, it doesn't matter. You could put them in on one side or on the other side or flip the lid around and put them the other way. They're all not going to lay perfectly because it all depends on how they naturally attached to the top of the lid. So um, don't worry about that. I mean, there's no way, absolutely no way that you can get them to all perfectly lay down because not every single one of them is going to attach in the exact same position the exact same way. So um, you just do your best to put them in there the best way you can so that they're all, for the most part, laying flat. Um, and then we now have to wait seven to 10 days uh, for them to emerge. So the first few that made their chrysali chrysalides, the first um, will hatch obviously first. And then the ones that made their chrysalides next will hatch next and you understand. So they'll hatch in order of when they formed their chrysalis. So um, you don't want to disturb the habitat, just let them be. Um, so our next video will be when they start emerging. Now let's check our ladybug quick guide we have here. So we are now, we've watched them form from a, go from a larva to a pupa and now a pupa to an adult ladybug. Um, and it says here, wait approximately five to seven days for your ladybugs to hatch from the pupa, emerging as soft, pale adults. And they do. They will emerge, and they're soft and pale white. And um, mm -hmm, I see. And they don't have spots at first, but then they will. So it says, watch as the ladybug's exoskeleton harden and spots will appear. Um, so let's see. Anything else? Step four. Feed your adult ladybugs. So if you want to keep your ladybugs for a little bit and uh, so that you can watch them in their habitat, uh, 
you can feed them raisins. It says, here's what to do. Soak one or two raisins in water for about five minutes. Cut the raisins in half and drop them in the ladybug land. Repeat when the raisins have disappeared. Um, step five, set your ladybugs free. While ladybugs can live indoors for up to one year, wow, they will live only two to three weeks in the habitat because they can't live in this habitat just surviving off raisins. They need to be out in their natural wildlife habitat searching for aphids because that is what they naturally eat, aphids. And you want them to eat your aphids because those little pesky red aphids eat your plants. So it's fantastic to have ladybugs in your garden because they'll eat those pesky aphids. So um, after you've watched, studied, and shared the wonder of your ladybugs, it's time to set them free. Release your ladybugs outdoors within a week of them emerging. Try to release them near a food source like aphid-infested plants. And be sure the outside temperature is above 55 degrees Fahrenheit. So um, we may keep our ladybugs for a few days. Um, we generally just keep them for a day, maybe two, uh, while their shells harden and because we wait to make sure that every single ladybug has emerged before we open the habitat. And then we will release them so they can eat up all of our aphids in our, please throw that away, in our garden. So our next video will be of us releasing our ladybugs and possibly might include us releasing our caterpillars or excuse me there'll be butterflies at that point so i will be back with another video to update you on the release of our ladybugs and what's going on with our chrysalides you guys have a wonderful spring bye